What's going on guys, Alex Apostle here. Today was my push day, and today my bench felt pretty weak. Um, here's a series of warm-ups starting from 225, and then I worked to 290 for a double. Two weeks ago I did 300 for a double, and then 315 for a single really easily. So basically what it's telling me is that it's time to go lighter on bench, stay more in the 5 to 8 rep range, and work on uh, working sets rather than going for those heavy doubles and triples and even singles sometimes. Here we are, I'm at 275 and visually, honestly, the speed looks okay to me, but it felt heavy. And when it feels heavy, it's really hard to use the most weight possible. So here we are at 285. I was shooting for a triple, but I settled on a double. And sometimes I hold back when I'm not lifting with a spotter, just because I want to play it safe. Here's 290. And it was a moderate double, not too bad. So, unlike the bench, my overhead press felt really strong today. As you can see, 135 is going up like the empty bar here. Hit about 8 reps here. And then 155, I hit eight reps here. The strict overhead press has always been a good lift for me. I think that relatively, relative to my other lifts, my overhead press is stronger than my bench press. Um, I hit 200 for four reps last week, and in this workout, I worked up to 190 pounds for six reps, which, considering I did the bench press first, I was pretty happy about that. So here we are at 175 for six reps. There's nothing like the standing overhead press, and you know, there's a lot of guys that do a ton of weight on seated dumbbells, but they have a huge arch on their back, they're leaning back, they're using that back support too much, and you put them under a barbell without any support, and they can barely do 135 for a few reps. It's pretty laughable, actually, but the sign of a true, um, having true functional strength is really being able to do a standing overhead press with a ton of weight, in my opinion with the upper body. Here we are, we're at 190 pounds. Yep, this is my last set, and so I pyramided up with these, which makes me happier about it, because I was pretty pre-fatigued at this point. Had a good song going, the sugar bleed, and that was all good on this one. Last rep was a bit of a struggle, but pretty smooth overall. After the overhead press, I did weighted push-ups. This weight vest is 50 pounds. I did three sets of about 12 to 15 reps. The only thing I didn't like about these is, as you can see, I've got some serious forward head posture going. Uh, a good cue from Eric Cressy is don't smell the floor, and I really should work on getting my head back and leading with the chest rather than my face like that. Hit some dumbbell curls, three sets of 20 reps. Nothing remarkable here. I do some additional bicep work on my push day, uh, usually right after my back day. I have an interesting split. I do most of my isolation work the day after I hit my main compound movements. So tomorrow I'm gonna hit chest and shoulder isolation work and triceps. And this is a good one that most people probably don't know about. It's a TRX curl, and uh, it's a pretty simple body weight exercise, but it's really a good finisher because you get a big squeeze at the top. Um, I could do a better job keeping my elbows up here. That would make the exercise a little bit tougher. You want to keep those elbows in line with the shoulders and bring the wrists to the ears. That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.